This is the California Highway Marker. And this is the famous Road 49, California 49. And it came from the gold rush because this is the sign that has a shape of the gold miners or gold seekers spade. I'm pretty sure you know this, the great seal of the state of California. Some government employees like police, firefighters and such wear it on their uniforms. And if you look carefully, you see the word Eureka on the top and it means uh, in Latin or in English actually I discovered and it refers to gold. There are other references as well. You see a gold miner digging, you see a spade there. And between the two of them, I see a gold panning uh, equipment, the pan actually, and maybe to the right of it are some golden nuggets. So quite a few things. In a quarter mile, turn right onto California 193 East, California 49 South. This is a gold country and below me is the American River and people were mining gold here in the river actually almost in every river and stream they tried first by pen mining just a simple way to get gold pieces out of sand and gravel. I believe those constructions or whatever it is in the river are from the gold rush when they were looking for gold in the riverbed. And this is a bridge over the American River, Squaw Valley, 97 miles. I think in the 60s there was uh, the Winter Olympics in Squaw Valley. Let's have a look from the bridge. There is another bridge and on the top is a another bridge. Awesome. Oh, here is this habit also that I saw mostly in Europe. People put a lock on a bridge or somewhere kind of like a sign of love for each other and you can see here 5921 on this block so this was built in 1912 the bridge and at the time this was the longest concrete railroad bridge in the world quite a feat for the time. Mining. Where the gold the rush started. made my heart thump, for I was certain it was gold. James Marshall. I think this is the replica of Marshall's sawmill where he found gold on January 24, 1848. Let's check it out. 
before he could start construction, James Marshall had to find the right spot for the sawmill. He found it here in Coloma. So this is the mill, kind of. Water was coming from over there. So let's have a look what the plate says at the river bank of the American River. The moment of discovery. This serene location just in front of you is where the builder started. James Marshall stood right here in 1848 when he pulled small gold nuggets from the tail race. This spot was and is like no other. Adults panning for gold and even a little children over there panning for gold with bright green pan Gold panning. Today price of gold 1849 $20 per ounce. 2019 something like 1580 something so let's visit the Empire State Mine pounding and pulverizing stamp mill 24 hours a day seven days a week not that much to see. Oh, a lot of old equipment here. A clean place is a safe place. Used to be true in the past, it's true even now, I think. The machine shop, this machine shop played a vital role in the total mine operation. Yes. Wow. Impressive old equipment. Deep enough the power shafts up to 600 feet a minute. Cousin Jack, common nickname for the Cornish who came to America to work the mines. Cousin Jack. Where are we? Yes, <laughs> but I am where? Doing nothing at the moment. Good for you. Working iron. No, I talked my fire out of existence, so since it went out, I said I'm going out. I <laughs> know. Oh, wow. Where are you folks today? We are okay, thank you. Where is the mine shaft? Everyone asks the same question, I know. It's closed, but it's yeah. right. It's that green door right there. Ah, okay. So we cannot even take a peek. The closest I can say that you can take a peek is if you go around the corner from that door, uh -huh. there's a window. Okay. And there's a mirror uh -huh. that reflects back down the shaft. Oh, okay. Smart. If, if the mirror is clear, you can see something. You can see. There's always an uncertainty about that. Yeah. Ah, you have a cat? Do you have a cat? May I see a bowl of water here? Oh, they are closed, yeah. Compressor area. Compressed air was needed to operate and so on. The miners also needed clean air for breathing. Miner's lifeline, hoist house. Inside this building, the hoists 
I raised and lowered men, rock and equipment into the empire shaft. It was a lot of work to get gold out. out of the ground minor rescue station an office even then paperwork must have been done pool are rebuilt and used as a swing pool. The Empire Mine Cottage and Grounds. That's how it used to be I guess. Or the owners of the mine. This was just a cottage of the owner of the mine. His main house was in Woodside, in uh, close to San Jose actually, which is a very rich zip code, ultra rich zip code nowadays. If you live in Woodside, you've made it. What can you do at Empire Mine State Park? Remember to stay a bear's length apart. And the news about gold discovery spread all over the world. You can see here. Do you want to go to California? If so, go and join the company who intend going out middle March and so on. One hundred dollars. Gold country, California's mother load. Rich veins of gold run through the foothills and mountains of the Sierra Nevada range. This is called the mother load. Placer, hard rock and hydraulic mining. When you think about the gold rush, do you picture a lone prospector with a metal pen? Well, it depends. All gold starts out in rock deposits. When the rocks erode, gold flakes end up in a surface gravel. Picking gold from river or soil deposits like this is called placer mining. The first miners in Coloma were placer miners. Once the surface gold was picked clean, men turned to hard rock mining. This involved more skill and process, and so on. So the gold rush was basically over in what, like five years. After that, the companies were digging, building mines, using high-pressure hoses to blast water at hillsides, washing out placer deposits. This was called hydraulic mining. 
reduced huge amounts of water and caused damage to landscapes that we can still see today. And it basically accelerated erosion. And the map of Sierra Nevada shows where the gold was found. Started Coloma plus Rivel area and goes for miles and miles. Actually it's about 120 miles long area. And this is quartz with gold flakes.